as with all light sources, uh, the lamps are of uh, some finite longevity, so they will be uh, will require changing. Uh, to access lamp change, there are four torque screws. So the upper of the pairs you find on uh, all four corners of the top lid need to be removed. On opening, there is a grounding strap that's attached to the rear. Unplug the spade connector, and the lid will come completely off. This is the lamp module. The lamp module has two banana plugs, electrical connections. Disconnect those. The lamp module has a thumb screw that retains it in position. Remove the thumb screw. The lamp module is held in by a spring pin. Pop it out, lift it up. The lamp module. The replacement lamp module is packaged as you see here. Handling lamp module, don't touch any of the optical components. That's the reflective mirror behind the lamp and the lamp itself. Uh, this lamp is uh, positioned um, pretty precisely over that reflector, uh, and that's key to its uh, optimum performance. To replace a lamp module, we have uh, two cutouts that sit on uh, guide pins at the bottom, at the base. When it's down, the spring pin holds it in place. We replace the thumb screw. Replace the electrical uh, banana plugs. They are uh, cut such that it is not possible to put them on the wrong electrode. With that, we replace the lid. Reinstalling the grounding strap. the lid in place with the uh, flathead screws to supply taken off earlier. You're now looking at the rear of the SUV DCE light sorts. There is a uh, cooling fan. The cooling fan has a clip-on uh, screen and filter media to uh, to keep the coolant air uh, clear and as pointed out earlier there is a spare uh, media supplied 